Hi children, this week theme is The Lord Loves Life. Please watch the following video. God and his people were living in perfection. And there was only one thing they needed to do to keep things perfect. Don't disobey God. God warned them that sin would always lead to death. And he never wanted that for his people. But Adam and Eve thought they knew better. So they disobeyed God's one rule. And just like that, everything that God said would happen, happened. The perfect was broken, and they had to leave the garden. Their life was now hard, because sin was now part of everything. In time, Adam and Eve had two sons. Cain grew up to be a farmer, and Abel grew up to become a shepherd. Their parents taught them about the Lord, their Creator. One day, the men were preparing gifts for the Lord, as they had been taught. Abel prepared the finest gift that he could offer, but Cain just threw together whatever happened to be around. God was pleased with Abel for making such a special offering. And that made Cain angry at Abel. God noticed this and asked Cain, Why are you mad? Did you prepare an offering with all of your heart? If you had, I would have loved it as much as Abel's gift, no matter what it was. But instead, you took the easy way out. Be careful, Cain. Sin is always waiting around the corner. Sadly, Cain didn't listen to God's warning and instead made an even greater mistake. He invited his brother out into the wild, and when they were alone in a field, Cain killed his brother. <laughs> Cain even tried to pretend like he didn't know what had happened, but God knew, and God was heartbroken. Cain, you will no longer be able to stay in this place. From now on, you will be a restless person who wanders around the earth. But Lord, said Cain, when people find out what I've done, they'll surely kill me. No, said God. Your life is precious to me, Cain, even after what you've done. I promise you will always be protected. So Cain left that place for good. Adam and Eve could never have imagined that letting that one simple act of not listening and disobeying could lead so quickly to death. And that's why God never wanted that for them. And that's why God doesn't want sin in our lives. God knows that sin never stays small, but that it always leads to heartache, sadness, pain, and death. And those are things that the Lord doesn't want for anyone. Because the Lord is the Lord of life. 
because the Lord loves life. Do you know what jealousy means? Well, it means feeling or showing envy for someone or their achievements and advantage. The study told us that Adam and Eve sinned into God's creation because they disobeyed God. Cain and Abel were the children of Adam and Eve. Cain was very, very jealous of Abel. But Abel put all his effort in love in the gift that he made for God. Because we need um, to always give our best to God. Cain didn't give his best to God. Later, he felt jealousy of how God looked with um, happiness and uh, at Abel's gift. God doesn't like sin because it brings pain, heartache, sadness, and death. God always always takes care about our life because Lord loves life. Welcome to Activity Time. Today in the Beat God story, we learn the Lord loves life. My helper today, Natalia. And to celebrate this, we are going to make a picture frame. Um, we need blank paper, pencil, roller, scissor, a shallow dish, a different colors of paints that you already have at home, and, and a family picture. A family picture. First, um, we need to fold in half uh, the blank paper. And next, uh, trace a rectangle with, um, with a ruler. The ruler looks like this. And um, next, Cut out the rectangle cut out of the rectangle after it should look something like this after dip your fingers into some paint and dab it onto the outside of the rectangle. Next, put a little bit of tape on the back of your picture and place. place it on. Then it should look something like that. I hope um, you enjoy this activity. Remember that the uh, Lord loves life.